Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to bring you the reveal of the newest season of Wonder Release with Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to walk you through all of these exciting new products, starting with some new background cling designs. This first one is called Autumn Leaf. And as always, these cling stamps are red rubber mounted on a cushy foam. They work great with a stamp positioner. You can also use them without a stamp positioner. So this is a great one cut into a fall leaf shape. It says autumn holds wonder all its own. And then we have mod leaf. This is a great kind of graphic design. It'd be great to stamp kind of tone on tone on a background. You could emboss it, do a little emboss resist, a lot of different techniques to create uh, fun backgrounds. And then last we have a holiday one, Christmas words. So this just stamps a bunch of scripty holiday phrases. Be merry, believe in the magic, tis the season, comfort and joy, and on and on in a great scripty font for your holiday backgrounds. Moving on to some new stamp designs. We have several to go through. This is a large release coming out of Stamp Timber, but we're kicking off the holidays. We have Thankful and Grateful. There are two coordinating dies for those larger thankful and grateful words. And then there's a bunch of sub sentiments to go with it. We are thankful. We're so thankful. Thankful for your dedication. Um, I am thankful. Thankful for all you've done. I'm so thankful. I'm incredibly grateful. Grateful you are near. Yep, put that one after. You are in my life. Grateful you're in my life. I'm very grateful for your friendship and care. Grateful we can gather together. Grateful that I will see you soon. Grateful for your love and support, for the bounty of the season, for your love. Grateful and blessed. And then for the times we spend together. Lots of sub sentiments there. Okay, this one here, trees and stars. It's a larger uh, stamp set. There are coordinating dies for those trees and those sentiments and little images. So you get to a bunch of patterned trees. It's very kind of graphic and modern. Look at these different patterns, polka dot, stripe, chevron. Um, this one here is like Santa with presents. And then there's some several sentiments, happy Christmas, joy and peace, happy holidays, seasons, greetings, a few stars. If you want to top the tree with a star. Moving on to deck the halls. This is a cute one. Uh, there are coordinating dies. If I don't, for, if I forget to show it, I believe there are coordinating dies for every single stamp set in this release, which is amazing. So here's a cute holiday one, deck the halls with boughs of holly. And then you have all these cute little girls decorating the tree with presents and all that stuff. Okay, here's one called I was wrong. This is interesting. So you have these two kids. They look like they could be screaming, but actually I think they're telling you there's a big speech bubble. You could fill it with all these phrases. I was wrong. You were right. I was wrong. You were right. <laughs> okay, I'll admit it. Please forgive me. Let us never speak of this again. I'm the worst. You are the best. So this is a fun one. If you want to do a card as an apology, or maybe you're... <laughs> It looks like almost making fun of your kids. Really, it does to me. It's making me chuckle. I don't hear my kids apologize to each other very often. Maybe, maybe that's my house. It's ruthless. Moving on. Wintertime critters. Uh, by the way, coordinating dies for that. If I forget to show it, there's most likely a coordinating die set with the images and possibly the sentiments. Here we have wintertime critters. Coordinating dies for all those cute little critters. Look at all of them. Bears, bunnies, polar bear. There's a pig holding a present with a cute scarf. And there's lots of holiday themed sentiments to pair with these images. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Wishing you all the joy and peace and love that this time of year brings. Very heartfelt with love at Christmas. And then keeping in this same kind of design aesthetic, this next one is It's Your Birthday. And it's got the same, well, not the same cute critters, but similar kind of cute critters. This one has bunny, um, a unicorn. I believe that's a dragon. Uh, this looks like a chipmunk. I don't know if you can see it. The light's kind of glaring off my stamp set. Another dragon. But this one is a birthday themed 
stamp set. There are coordinating dies for all these cute images. And then there's a bunch of birthday themed sentiments that you can pair with these critters. Okay, here's a great sentiment stamp set. Bold smiles. I love the font on this. It's like partially scripty, kind of retro. I love it. And there's lots to choose from. Love you, sending hugs. You make me smile. I love the one on the bottom. You're good people. Thanks for being kind. You're the best. And then there's little itty bitty sub sentiments that you can pair with it. These are great for even stamping on the inside of cards. Here's one that I'm really looking forward to using. By the way, coordinating dies for the bold smiles. I keep forgetting to mention it. This next one I'm very excited about. Fresh air fall flowers. If you remember, there used to be a fresh air flowers and I loved it. These are layering stamp set. So this one is for the fall. There are coordinating dies to go with it. And um, if you get a little bit confused about layering, these are kind of labeled. There's also sentiments, um, great sentiments. So you've got like A1, A2, a3 and A4, and then there's like the B's and the C's and the D's. So it kind of explains to you which stamps can be layered together, creates dimension. You can add a lot of color and you can use this for the fall. Okay, and then we have one, keep it in that same design aesthetic, Fresh Air Holiday Tree. So it's a layering stamp set. I love how the back of the packaging shows you. They don't all do that, but when they do, really makes me giddy. I love how it shows you how you can build it. You can build up those colors, add the uh, tinsel twine and all the doodads, and you can build up your tree. Love how this looks. Kind of whimsical. There's also little banner type sentiments that can be hung on the tree as well. And there's a coordinating die for those banner sentiments and the tree and the stars. So that's a cute one. Fresh air holiday tree. Last but not least, light the menorah. So this is a special one for Hanukkah. There are coordinating dies for the sentiments and images in the stamp set. Happy Hanukkah. I like how the happy is sticking out like a candle. Let's celebrate the festival of lights. Come light the menorah. Let's get lit. Time to get lit. A fun one for Hanukkah. Moving along to some fabulous new standalone dies, we have birthday wishes. Uh, and as always, I die cut every single one of these to show you so you can see the size, see the detail. This one has that shadow backer I did in light purple, and then I did the birthday wishes out of white cardstock. And then we have boho birthday. It's similar, but it's got a little more scripty, a little more swoop de doo to it, and it's just simply the birthday. And then we have boho medallion, and it's just a cute little simple medallion. Next is the bat tag. This was also included in the limited edition Halloween card kit, and it makes a fun Hall Halloween themed tag. You can see how that bat pops out at the top of the tag. You could use that bat die cut of several of them and kind of, you know, scatter them on a card if you want to put a bunch of bats. So that is the bat tag. Next is the moving X cover. This is really unique. It's a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch cover plate. And look at what it does. It's very graphic, geometric, a lot of motion going on, hence the name Moving X Cover. Now what I did was I die cut the whole thing out of white cardstock and I added color by coloring the stripes with Copic markers. You could also die cut all the pieces with solid color cardstock. Um, it's just a really clean graphic, like, drawing your eye towards the center. All you need is to add a sentiment and that's a fun, fun graphic card. And then we have Happy Autumn, a nice classic scripty autumn themed word die. You've got the shadow backer and then the word die, which I did out of white cardstock. Here we have a hot foil plate, warm hugs. I foiled this one up and it foiled like butter. I did gold on white cardstock and beautiful. Great sentiment for the upcoming cooler seasons. And now we have five stars die set. This one die cuts five stars in five different sizes. Simple, great to top your trees, scatter them on a background, do a bunch of them and fill a shaker. And then we have Willow Snowflake, a large and in charge. Beautiful detailed snowflake. You've got that shadow backer, which I did out of blue cardstock. And this would be fun to do out of some glitter glitter cardstock or vellum, um, really, really pretty. And next we have three rectangles 
and single rectangle. You can buy a single or you can buy the three rectangles. What do you do with these rectangles? Well, they're compatible with the rectangular shapes found in Tim Holtz's Etc. Mosaic Tiles that's sold separately. It can also be used to cut out elements. You could put use it as a sentiment banner. You just let your imagination run wild, what you want to do with these fun little rectangles. Next up is Layered Bird Bunch. Four adorable little birds. You can mix and match, layer them up, Color combinations are endless. Make them little cardinals, make them little robins, uh, make them red and green, whatever season. They can go throughout the seasons. If you like little birds, these are for you. Uh, next, we have the abundant leaves. You get three little leaf clustered. I don't know if you can see that beautiful detail, that linear, beautiful detail that automatically kind of cuts into the die cut, like embosses it beautiful abundant leaves and then we have rhythm link plate another cover plate with incredible detail uh, this would be great to back with acetate make it a shaker you could pop in all the little pieces with different colors there's also kind of a um this is called the rhythm link and it's almost like an isolated link from this rhythm link plate so you could use the two together to um, just get more options, add more color, more detail, kind of isolate one of those rhythm link shapes and do fun things with it. Okay, next we have ornamental fine leaves. You can never go wrong having some little leaf clusters. These are beautiful to put behind anything when you die cut them with vellum. They really are. Die cut them with glitter card stock. Uh, you can ink blend on them. Um, they're just a ni nice little accent to have. And then we have the bubble burst plate. Another cover plate, four and a quarter by five and a half. And it's got this dynamic bubble burst design. Again, you could back this with acetate. You could pop back in all the little circles with different colors of solid color cardstock. There's another kind of coordinating die, the bubble burst. So it's like an isolated bubble burst from that bubble burst plate. It's like a tongue twister. Uh, okay, so you could pop that on. You could also put it behind. Die cut that in a lot of different colors and put one behind each bubble burst. Bubble, bubble, double bubble. Really fun. Bubble burst plate with the bubble burst die. Next up is Lovely Leaves, another classic timeless leafy cluster. This one is just all one. It's not individual. It's like one lovely leaves. Next up is the forest border frame. This one's a showstopper. You get this kind of spriggy holiday frame. You could stamp a sentiment inside of it. And then there's these little accent pieces on the side if you want to add some more greenery, do it in different color. And then we have rustic sprigs. Now this one I die cut out of dark navy, so it's really hard to see the detail. But as always, there's little embossed die cut detail within that rustic sprig. Beautiful for the holidays. And then we have winter mitten. This is really cute. I did it out of white and a very light blue. You could, this would be fun out of red. You got those little faux stitching details in there. This would make a great tag too. And then we have the Layered Bird Bunch. This one might be one of my favorites. Look at this chubby bird sitting on a branch with a couple of berries. You could customize. I did all solid color cardstock here, but you could do um, ink blending and just really customize the colors. Lastly is the Tall Mushrooms. These are tall and skinny, and they're just adorable. They look so cute as a little trio of mushrooms. I don't know what it is lately, but we've had some mushrooms growing in our front yard and they sprout up overnight, but they are darn cute. Okay, moving on to a few new stencil designs. First up is the Autumn Cascade. This is a two part layering stencil. So you have the open area and then you have the detail of the leaves and you could do this in some great autumnal colors. You could also customize this for the holidays, do reds and greens. And then we have a little mini, the boho rainbow. 
This was included in the Boho card kit that came out, the limited edition during Stamptember. Um, so that's three stencils. I love how the back of the packaging shows you what it looks like when you layer up this adorable little Boho rainbow stencil. Next up is the Halloween Damask. And this also was included in that limited edition Halloween card kit. Now you can buy it um, just on its own. And this is a two-parter. You can see how the second stencil adds the eyes to the skulls and the ghosts. Another one that has the imagery on the back of the packaging, which I find to be so helpful. You can get an idea of what that looks like. Kind of a fancy, sophisticated Halloween stencil design. And then we have 3D Box. This one is a showstopper. It's just two stencils. You can layer them together. You can rotate that stencil around and look at what this turns out to. It's like an optical illusion. It's called 3D Box and I'm in love. Last but not least, we have the Just My Type Christmas layering stencil set. Four stencils. There's little registration dots in the corners to help you line up. So this gives you like two-toned blended words, seasons and merry, and then greetings and Christmas. So you can do seasons greetings or merry Christmas, and it's like two-toned letters. I also want to mention um, there are coordinating dies for this stencil set. I didn't have them to show you, but the back of the packaging shows you. See those two-toned letters? You can blend it for the holidays and then die cut it if you want to. This is a really cute one. Moving on to some fun new embossing folder designs. There's several to go through. I've embossed them all. Some of them include die cuts. First up is the oak leaves and branches. This one has dies with it. Uh, look at the beautiful oak leaves with the branches. And then there's a few little dies that cut out those leaves. And you can fit them back onto your design or use them on another project isolated completely by themselves. You can die cut them and then emboss them. There's also two cute little acorns, itty bitty little acorns. This year we have an oak tree in our yard that's been dropping acorns like bombs away all day long and Hank the Tank doesn't know what to make of it. They're hitting the car, they're hitting the dog in the head, but they're cute little embossed acorns. And that's the oak leaves and branches embossing folder. Next up is the Icy Snowflakes. This also has a coordinating die. Um, I'll show you what this looks like embossed. It's given me Frozen, uh, the movie, the Disney movie Frozen. That's what it's, I'm getting that feel. These are like sharp, crisp snowflakes. So you could die cut that individual snowflake. You can emboss it, put it back onto your design or use it individually. And that's Icy Snowflakes. Next up is dimensional fab floral and this is just kind of a repeating floral design here it is on gray it's just a kind of hypnotic beautiful texture and design here is mitten garland this also has a couple of mitten coordinating dies uh, this one here embossed in a dark navy uh, can you see the beautiful detailed mittens? Some of them have chevron pattern in them, and it's like garland of mittens. You could also die cut the two mittens and use them individually or pop them back onto your project. You can emboss them with that mitten design, and they're just really cute. It's like a mitten garland background pattern. Next up is the textured pine trees. Uh, this one's beautiful on any color cardstock, even white cardstock. You could add ink blending. You can see the subtle little snow falling in the sky on these tall, skinny pine trees. Next, we have Carnival Petals, another beautiful kind of repeating floral design. This one on some kind of teal cardstock. You can see the beautiful texture with that repeating floral pattern. Here we have fireworks. This is a great embossing folder for several different times of the year. Great for 4th of July, great for New Year's, could be a celebration, uh, a wedding or a birthday, fun fireworks background. Next we have free falling floral pattern. Um, even though this one is embossed in a very dark green, it's given me H Hawaii vibes. I think it would be so pretty if you embossed this in white cardstock and did some ink blending over those florals in some pink and orange shades. Very summery, breezy. Take me to the tropics right now. This one here might be my favorite 
the labyrinth. I don't know what it is about it, but it looks amazing on this mossy green cardstock. It's like a maze. The texture is incredible. I love it. Next up is wooden planks. This one here is embossed onto some green cardstock, but this would look amazing on some craft. Uh, wooden planks like a floor, and I don't know if you can pick up the detail of the wood grain within the wood planks. So fun. I love that. Very interesting. Next up is mountainside leaves, another timeless, florally, leafy foliage um, background pattern. This could be great for any time of the year. Do a lot of different colors with it, a lot of different fun techniques with it. And then we have drifting blossoms. This one here I did out of a bright yellow cardstock and you have these kind of drifting blossoms just repeating and flowing throughout the background. Very detailed and really, really pretty. Next up is falling leaves. And this one here I embossed into some kind of hot pink, dull pink cardstock. You could ink blend it over with some cranberry or deep plum colors to give you that fall feel. Um, a lot of different ways you can add color to these and and uh, do techniques. And then last but not least, we have the wheat stems. This one here is another favorite. I love these textural wheat stems. This is a great one for fall, great for Thanksgiving, good for any time of the year. Would be really pretty on a craft cardstock as well. Next up, we have some new designs by Kathy Zilski. I always look forward to whatever she comes up with. First up, we have the Scripty Thanks Word Die. This gives you the shadow backer and the word die. You can use the word die without that shadow backer. I did the shadow out of blue. I did the word die out of white. I love this kind of classic font choice for Kathy Zilski. You can never go wrong with a thanks word die. Next up is the wonky tree o so you can make some tall skinny trees um, get different designs layer them up in different ways whatever you you can dream up you can layer and if you don't want to put the trees on the tall skinny stems you can use them without the stems or the skinny tree trunks uh, but it's kind of fun i saw an example somebody put these in a cloche and it blew my mind it blew my mind okay and then we have a wood plank now this one here, this is why I die cut, because look at how big it is. You wouldn't know it by looking at the packaging, but it, it's a long wood plank. What do you do with it? What can't you do with it is the better question. It's a great little plank to put under anything. Put it under your wonky trees. Put it under anything to give it a little grounding. It's got that wood grain texture to it. Um, then we have Winter Village. This is a fun little die set that die cuts kind of the silhouette of some buildings for the holidays. Looks great with white on navy. Again, you could use that wood plank to put under it for some grounding. Another use for that fun wood plank. I love this Winter Village silhouette. It's very simple, clean for the holidays. And then we have another word die, Happy Christmas. Very simple, classic Kathy Zilski. I did this one with the shadow backer in red and the word die in white. Of course, you could use the Happy Christmas by itself. And look at how this looks just popped up on that uh, Winter Village. Great color combination there. And then we also have the new Noted Holiday. If you remember from past release, Kathy Zoski did a noted one with some humorous little things you can make like a, a to-do list. Well, now she's customized it for the holiday. You got things to do. Make cookies, make more cookies, eat the cookies, spread good cheer. Uh, it's got that Kathy Zoski wit to it. So there's a lot of different choices of things you could put on your Christmas to-do list. Make a list, check it twice, take time off. Decide who's naughty, wear Santa hats, deck the halls, uh, buy new lights. That's something I have to do every year, I swear. Uh, believe in the magic, make fun tags, diet in the new year. That might be my favorite one. Okay, so that's Noted Holiday by Kathy Zilski. Okay, we have some fun little extras to go through in this season of Wonder Release. First up are these new sentiment strips. I always look forward to to the sentiment strips. These are the giving thanks sentiment strips. You get four sheets. Um, there's two with the same sentiments and then another two sheets 
with another variety of sentiments. So you got lots to choose from. These work well with the sentiment label dies. You can cut them out with a guillotine trimmer, however you like to cut them. They're always handy to have. And then the reverse giving thanks are my favorite. I love the white on black. It really pops on projects. Again, you get four sheets, white on black, a variety of sentiments. I like the thankful and grateful theme. There's also two new mini ink cube sets. We have the red berries ink cubes, and that includes guava, watermelon, cherry, cheeky, blush, and pucker. And then there's also the green trees mini ink cube set, which includes Aspen, Sage, Pine, Spring, Dublin, and Lucky. And these are just like the ink cubes that you've come to know and love with that positively saturated ink that blends and stamps like butter. And then last but not least, we have two new sequin mixes. We have the red berries sequins, and these are got a few different mixture of sizes. Some of them are iridescent. And then you have the green trees sequin mix. Again, a great mixture of sequin, confetti, and green and red for the holidays. Also want to quickly mention these two stamp sets that were part of limited edition card kits are also part of the Season of Wonder release. We have the Just Batty. This also has the coordinating dies to go with it. Great for Halloween. And then we have the Boho Party, a Boho themed birthday stamp set. Again, coordinating dies to go with all of those images and sentiments. And that is everything from the Season of Wonder release. Wanted to share a couple of projects that I've created using some of these new products. Here we have the tall mushrooms on that labyrinth embossing folder. I also used one of the reverse giving thanks sentiment strips. The second card uses the forest border frame with the happy autumn word die. On the background, I use that dimensional fab floral embossing folder. Make sure and check out the Simon Stamp blog for more inspiration and information on this new Season of Wonder release. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.